<gasps> oh! All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching You, Season 2, Episode 7. Now, the last episode... Uh, so, Love sent a PI on Candace slash Amy, and then she found out who Amy really was and how her real name was Candace Stone and everything, and then she caught Candace sneaking in the Joe's apartment to, to find some shit on him, and then she told Love everything about Joe. Now, obviously, Love doesn't know if... Uh, Candace is really telling the truth or not like the full truth But she still took precaution and she still broke up with Joe. So they broke up um, I don't think they're gonna be broken up for much longer to be honest. I really don't I think they'll get back together Probably this episode for being honest Or maybe they'll or maybe they'll just have like an episode where they don't really see each other then episode eight they for sure will get together and joe saw all of the seven totem signs to stay in uh in la which and you know joe saw that as like proof you know like he should stay it's like a sign he should stay when it's clearly odd but hey it's joe so but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as early access to the next two episodes of you will also be available on patreon so let's get started also, yeah, my LED lights, they fell. I need to get more tape, I'm out of tape. The tape isn't sticky. Everything hurts and nothing is okay without you, love. You, don't make it easy to check in. What? Mm. Who mm. the fuck is that? Oh no. Oh, it kinda looks like he's breaking in, cause like, Check, you look behind, you know? There are a lot of seedy characters in this town, love. It's a good thing you moved your spare key to the to the birdhouse. Oh, he knows? This has to be like a relative. Shit. Shit. If I go over there, you'll know I was watching. If I don't... Oh, damn it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Dude, Joe's ready to kill this dude. <gasps> oh! curtains aren't to shut me out they're a kindness because you've already oh uh, mm. damn she brought him to work too dude i'd be fucking pissed if i was joe <laughs> like <laughs> like what the fuck i mean like she has all the right to like get to start seeing someone else for sure but it would hurt a lot you know it would still hurt especially that quickly who is this monster it's milo Sprinkle James's ashes all over the Himalayas, and now he's back, reversing Love's vagina. Again. Again? he does that periodically. So he's mm. a... Scumbag. I would mm -hmm. poltergeist, but he's been sweet on her since college. He could not stand it when she chose James, and he stayed for weeks after. Cooked, cleaned, bathed her. Nobody does that shit out of the kindness of their own heart, Joe. He was preying on her when she was vulnerable, and now he's doing it again. He's a predator. So that, okay, that makes sense how she found someone so quickly. He was already there. But she is still very broken up over you. She does not look very broken up. Challenge accepted. Oh, what, do you, what does that Watch mean? This. Oh no. Sponsored by Patagonia, which is easier when your dad owns Patagonia. <laughs> Countries, no, he's too perfect. No guy like this actually exists outside a romance novel. I mm. smell a fraud. It has to be. It has to be fraudulent. And secondly, I'm actually into him. You're just using him to cope. I need you coming in on behalf of Will or Joe or whatever the fuck his name is, trying to make Milo is good. At least he's honest. Is he though? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you never know, dude. Hi, forty. Hi, salami nips. Dude, he looks like um. <sighs> What's his name? Dude, I'm blanking so hard on his name right now, but uh, he looks like Chris Hemsworth brother <laughs> I, i'm blanking on his name so hard is he your karen okay so you know what you have to do now right get back on the horse start dating around show love how free liam 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 hemsworth really the jealous type oh i'm sorry did the two of you share a womb <laughs> yeah trust me okay she gets jealous okay it's kind of weird how she's just making out with the dude in the kitchen, like, not just for Joe to see, but, like, all of the customers, too. Like, if I was a customer at the bookstore, whatever, and I saw that, I'd be like, what the fuck? 
You lied out of necessity, okay? That guy is a pie hunting snake in Tarzan's body, and I do not trust him. <laughs> Says, you're good, he's bad, case dismissed. I'm starting to see what you see in 40. He is smart and he loves you hard. I get that. I need something good for your flinger profile. Spit me some literature. Flinger profile. It's like Tinder, basically. Picture. Not that it's difficult when the subject is you. Uh, what was that? Oh. Mm. oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Do me a favor. Instead of Delilah, fuck anything else. <laughs> How? Why do you know about that? Just be a normal mm -hmm. person and rebound on Flinger instead of your literal neighbor. Stop avoiding me and pay your fucking rent because it's late. <laughs> Dude, also, like, how does Joe make enough money from the bookstore to have a fucking apartment in L.A.? In L.A. What's that, four people now suggesting Flinger? I feel like that's a horrible idea for, for him to get on dating apps. Because he's going to see a profile and be like, oh my god, I'm in love with this girl. Just like that. And swipe on, like, a couple swipes later. Be like, oh my god, I'm in love with this girl. And then he's just, ugh, I can't see it going well at all. Finger. Some of these pictures don't even have their faces in it. And what the hell is cuffing season? <laughs> The app for readers. Sensational. For those interested in getting to know someone who actually reads. Oh, the saga of Will Bettelheim must continue. Joe mm. and his heart are reserved for one person. Jesus Christ. Are you really the jealous type, love? I guess we'll see. <laughs> a little honesty, I'm not the biggest reader. I just really want to date a guy who is. Oh my it's god. It's mode, right? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, fuck that. I'm leaving. Oh, oh. Thanks to Forty's constant <laughs> reposts to his stories, I can see you've been looking at my profile, but choosing not to engage, right? You're jealous. Meanwhile, Milo's account is getting more and more intimate. Damn, yeah, just a fucking fan page of love. Well, as you know, I go to Bali next week. I'll be there for about 10 months. This is the moment he asks you to come. He's trying to, and I have the pleasure of hearing it. Well, not anymore. Oh. I'm tired of traveling, and this, you and me, has been really good. Never mind. He doesn't look like Liam, actually. Never mind. Right. So he's gonna move in with her. That's what he's asking. If I stick around a while, Ooh. what if you and me give this a real shot? I want you to be my girlfriend, love. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Love's gonna be like. Milo, that's um. I don't want you to make that decision because of me. Oh, that's a no. That's a curve. Yeah, I feel like Love doesn't actually like him. She's just it's it's a way for her to cope of uh, Joe. It's a way for her to cope after Joe. Because, I mean, if she did actually like Milo, she would have been like, yes, move in with me or something like that, you know? I feel like, so. Hey. 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 Online dating. Mm. Yeah, it's going pretty good. It's going well? You are curious. Mm. It is, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's all... It's really great. <laughs> I'm glad you're putting yourself out there. I was just also curious. What name are you using? Well, they're Joe. <laughs> Love. Will. Interesting. 40 was wrong. You aren't jealous. You're disgusted. I think I've been putting my attention in the wrong place. I was putting the hat on. This is really uphill. He has a fucking, he needs a weighted vest on too. <laughs> Jesus. Fool's a tank. Will? Shit. Of course, your best friend. Oh, uh, okay. What's up? It's a coincidence. I guess he's hiking. Everybody's hiking today. You hike often? Yeah. I'm getting into it, yeah. Well, I have an especially potent bullshit detector. <laughs> Stop the little white lies. Love values radical. It hurts even to say it, honesty, above anything else. And she got you in a fucking whopper. In almost 10 years of our friendship, I don't think she has ever talked about someone the way she has talked about you, even James. Damn. I think there's still hope. You want to know why love is so attractive to Milo? Yes. He worked on himself. Mm-hmm damage healthy people like healthy people mm -hmm. maybe it's time you face this like a true angelina terrified to know what this means that's great advice work on yourself joe work on yourself he knows what he's talking about how are you feeling crazy nervous Oof. Ooh, acupuncture sure. i'm afraid to lose love forever i'll say something true something bad You'll tell love, and I'll lose her forever. Oh. The truth does not scare love. This would. 
Mm -hmm. Friend is a sorcerer. So you believe your truth makes you unworthy of love? Mm-hmm. You just stop talking now. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's... I'm so sorry. What's happening? Why you... Who would you be if you didn't have anyone to love? What makes you chase love so much? His mom. We're getting out of here. Where are we going? I don't know yet. But we're never going to see him again. I thought he'd be better this time. But he was worse. Take only the important things. None of those books. As long as we're together, we'll always be home. <laughs> Damn. You have been in the pursuit of someone to love and care for for all of your life. What if you were that person? Gotta love yourself first, Joe. With me, I, I am all I need. Am all I need. I am all I need. Dude, shout out Gabe right here. I feel like we're making real progress with Joe. <laughs> it's the power of self-love. As Mama Ru says, if you cannot love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Exactly. But this is not a cure-all. You're still going to experience dark thoughts and emotions. Mm -hmm. What is important is that you follow it up with, and I'm okay with that. Ellie, what are you doing here? In the trades, you acquired a pretty big piece of IP, 40 Quinn. Trades. Mm. My agent put out a press release. Shit, fuck, damn it, 40. I'm really good with coverage and notes. And there is the real reason she's here. Yep. And I can guarantee you I know more about film than any idiot assistant to come out of WME. Oh, here we go. All right, Hermione, who was originally supposed to play the Terminator. Mm. OJ Simpson, but James Cameron thought he looked too nice to play a killer. OJ Simpson was too nice to play a killer. Wow. So, remember how you mansplained to me that I should write my Henderson story? I might have gotten confirmation that it's going to be published in Variety fucking magazine. Mmm, damn. So great. Let's be clear, though. This is not a thank you. I will never thank you. Clear? All right. What is happening here? Are you... <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Passed out from that too. Blood pressure probably just fucking dropped from having all these detox drinks. I don't know. Uh, see where this goes. Milo, I care about you a lot. And this has been great. I just, I like the way things are. Mm. I'm not sure I'm ready to change the dynamic. Will, Will, wake up. Oh. You exorcist vomited all over my favorite top and then passed out. <laughs> Same thing happened to me a couple years ago when I read that celery it was negative calories, nothing else for three days, and then projectile barfed all over my own birthday cake. I mean, yeah, it's like, re it's really fucking low in calories. So, I mean. It's hard to read, and I still couldn't put it down. It's incredible. It's weird how powerful vulnerability can feel. I don't think I would have had the guts if you hadn't angered me into it. I'm definitely not proud of you. So. Mm, they're gonna become a thing. They're gonna become a thing. I just want to clear the noise. Maybe I'm cynical, but I really don't think any of that stuff works for anyone who's truly broken. It serves us better to just keep barreling forward and hope the demons can't keep up. Might as well be who you are. No, no, don't. That's that is the worst <laughs> advice you can give the Joe. <laughs> nice to meet the real you, Delilah. You're really quite beautiful. Oh, oh no. Everything's better with a little whiskey. And he's probably starting to like her. And he's, that's why he's like, oh no. My first impression of you was weirdo. Oh, come on. You can't be surprised. You had no social media. You were purposely trying to have no personality whatsoever. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly it. What was your first impression of me? Be honest. Definitely do not be honest. <laughs> why don't you wash your mouth out, try again. Here goes. I thought you seemed sad. Ooh. I can see how much you had on your shoulders. It's a lot. Also, I have this bad habit of trying to fix people. Mm-hmm. The unfriendly New Yorker, so I'm sorry about that. Hey, stop apologizing. <sighs> They're gonna kiss. Thing is, I like weirdos. Damaged. Fine's damaged. <sighs> all right, all right. No, oh, nice, nice. Oh, cops! Fuck! 
Oh, he went to jail? Fuck me. Damn. Is it really that serious? I mean, they're not like really in jail. They're just like detained, but like still. What if they take fingerprints? What if they take DNA? Not like there's a crusty jar of piss mm -hmm. in Peach Selinger's house or anything. <sighs> yeah. They probably will and take like your fingerprint. You know, just for, like the record or whatever. I don't know. I think it's like a six hour hold. Oh my God. Fingerprints and shit. <laughs> shit. I just Benji, Peach, Beck, Jasper, Henderson. Don't like confusion. Yeah. Can you get us out of here? It was just a big misunderstanding. We were barely tipsy. We weren't even driving. It was like... I heard why they brought you in. That doesn't sound like a misunderstanding to me. Finch. Oh, he's pissed that they were fucking because he was... Finch was fucking her. Wow. <laughs> oh, call no problems for it. You call 40? For these things, just sit tight. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, my God. In an alley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like... 40 would be the best person to call. Apparently, you have some pretty powerful friends. Will Thank you, officer. Wait, I know you. He's my neighbor. You've probably seen him around the building. Mm hmm. But you also give him the headphones. Oh, now he's gonna be on the jail. Is that it? If not, I know where to find you. Props stick to friendship from now on, though. For Ellie. Friends. Yeah, for really. No, they're still You're gonna such fuck. An idiot. Yeah, <laughs> they're still gonna fuck, dude. Are you guys fucking kidding me? <laughs> Elle, I you left me alone all night so you could get late. Oh. Why do you have to be such a slut? Oh, fuck. Friends. Yeah. For yes. Okay. 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 Now, friends. No. Yes. They're not fucking again. No. No. I take it back. <laughs> Indecent exposure. I'm not telling you anything. How mm. lewd. Yeah, I mean, because if you tell 40 why, like, really why you were in there, he's definitely telling love, and then it's like... Later, fellas. Bye, Vagemite. <laughs> oh. This is Aussie. Your next failed attempt to lock down my sister. Ooh. Don't do it. Yeah. 40. <laughs> Fuck. I know it's not easy for you when love's attention's on someone else, so it'd be nice if we could be cordial. Oof. Interesting. See the way that I see Oh no, love sees it. <laughs> you're not gonna be around long at all. Yeah, love loves coming, love's coming. When are you gonna grow up? When are oh. you gonna realize that natural deodorant is not working? <laughs> so let's take it down. What's going on? You're the reason why love can't do anything good with her life. You're a fucking albatross around mm, her neck. Milo. Yep, love's done for Milo now. I was gonna say love's gonna walk out, hear him say something. You can't keep your dick hard. Oh, oh, oh fuck, he socked him. Oh that, that that's it, they're done, they're done. Fuck out! My he own. started it. Me? You know what? I've been biting my tongue for a long time. Maybe if you paid less attention to your idiot brother and more to what's actually in front of you, you might have noticed sooner that James was sick. Oh. She said, "Get out." Yeah, that was really fucking far. What are you gonna do? Be a big man? What are you gonna do? Stay? <laughs> like what? <sighs> Bro, I'm not gonna fight you. Like you just, you're just looking like an asshole here. Just leave, dude. Okay, there was. Like, there was like no real reason for Milo to punch 40 right there. Like, yeah, 40 insulted him, but like. I remembered where I knew your friend from. It, oh. Great. Bye. <laughs> Liam Bettelheim drives a beater Honda Civic and makes $12 an hour working at a grocery store. Those headphones alone cost more than he makes in a week. Yeah, so how is he even affording rent? <laughs> Listen, Delilah, that was the same night that Henderson was murdered. Mm. No real money, no assets doing, getting rid of $600 headphones the same night a celebrity was killed. Celebrity who was the spokesperson for those fucking headphones. Just stop. Alex Jones, look, I, I know you didn't like seeing me with another dude. In your ego anymore. Goodbye. No, D. Dude, he's on to it, though. He's on to it. Doesn't mean anything. My skirt was pulled up. So you're saying Henderson? Or hey, maybe. My oh, she's realized. Did you pay well to follow me? Oh, sh oh shit. Delilah's realizing everything. Oh, look, I made the cut. There's no way. Oh, now she's gonna investigate Joe's apartment. Oh, she's gonna move the fucking picture and see it, dude. But in the wall behind the picture frame is literally the worst fucking spot. And she's gonna, that's the worst fucking spot ever. Cause yeah, she's checking everything possible. I mean, I, I mean, you may not think to look behind the painting, but like still. Oh, yeah, bro, she looked right at it and thought, oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's the wrong painting. Though. Yeah, it's the wrong one, though. Hmm. Oh, the storage, and she'll see the fucking book, uh, the bookcase. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
We're all a bunch of assholes. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Joe's was like, dude, I was just chilling there. Like, I was just, I didn't do anything. I was just there. We love you too much. Don't we, sport? Always. I should get going. I have dinner plans. Another day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a good friend, Joe. My name, my mm -hmm. real name, and you're Mr. Home. That is you. And I'm okay with that. Mm. <laughs> what in the actual fuck? Dude, watch Joe come in here and trap her in here. There's no way, like, he would. He happens to come in while she's here. Oh, she found the box. Fuck, okay, now she's uh, now she's gonna think he murdered Hendy for sure. Yep, calling him. Dude, Joe, I feel like they're gonna check, they're gonna get us with Joe being in here. He's gonna trap her in here. Be back. But it would be such a coincidence that he just happened to come in here, which he doesn't have a reason to come in here. <gasps> oh, fuck! Uh... At a nanny cam in my apartment. When my crazy ex broke in. Okay, okay, that's how he knew he, he was here. Saw so you'd already been by. Mm-hmm. And found some keys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he knew to came he knew to come here, okay. Don't make me take it. What are you gonna do? I will scream. <laughs> Think about Ellie. Yeah, you can't do this, yeah, too. Load. <sighs> Joe's putting her in the cage. Ooh. This is Dale. Another dude. Come on. Yeah, he looks like a piece of shit too. Dad will be home any minute. Oh, that's his real dad then. The other guy. It would just be us. Get in the car. Mm. And she's in the cage. All right, cool. He obviously hit her in the head. So, all right. No, 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 no. Don't panic. I'm not gonna hurt you. I would never do anything to hurt you or Ellie. Please do not leave me in here. I just need to make some arrangements and you will never see me again. I Can you trust me, Delilah? All right, well, that was episode seven. All right. All right, so Joe has Delilah in the cage now. Am I surprised? Not really, no. God damn it, Joe. Okay, see, like, I... Okay, I don't... Okay, my... Oh, my light turned off. But, okay, I don't see him killing Delilah because then, like, he's really gonna fuck over Ellie right there, too. And he cares about Ellie a lot, obviously. So, he doesn't want to do that to her. But, like, he, he can't let out... He can't let Delilah out because she was already taking pictures of everything. You know, like, she would turn his ass in. You know, like, she 100% would 100% what. So, I guess... I guess he has to kind of murder Delilah then. I guess he has to. But then what's gonna happen with Ellie? Like... <sighs> I'm not sure, honestly. I'm 50-50 on it whether he kills Delilah or not. I'm 50 I'm really 50-50 to be honest. See how this looks 4,000 ice, so let's see how this looks. And then with the love, love got another lover in this episode. But it was really just a co a way to cope with her breaking up with Joe. You know, she brings that guy in anytime she breaks up with someone, so it's like okay. Alright. Well, there's nothing real with that or anything. Like he said, like he confessed his feelings and she was just like, yeah, you know, like she was curving him. So that was never gonna turn into anything. I mean, maybe it might have given more time, but it's over now anyway, because he bitched that he punched 40 in the face and they got into like a fight or whatever. So I'm like, dude, I don't think there was like a legit reason to punch 40 in the face right there. Like, yeah, he insulted you, but it's like, dog, that's not like a, it's not like a valid reason to like, like punch someone in the face. Like, just, just walk away, dog, just walk away. Like, it's crazy how Joe keeps finding himself in the same situation over and over. Like, it, it's honestly crazy, dude. I mean, it's not really crazy because like it's Joe, but it's just like dog. Like how? Like how do we keep getting here? I mean, we know how we we watch the show unfold and whatever, but like you know what I mean. It's like come on, Joe. But anyways, that was season two, episode seven. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments, and if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.